Well, I'm very chill today. It's beautiful outside. And today we're going to talk about things you need to know before moving in Dubai. I have a lot to tell you. So in 2023, Dubai has changed the law. There's many things that they add, they add to the law. There's many things that you need to know about if you want, if you're planning to move to Dubai. So please stay tuned because there's a lot of things that I'm going to tell you that will probably help you. So get ready. Welcome back guys. So here I have my computer, you know, to help me a little bit, you know, with I wrote everything, everything that you need to know, you know, for 2023 before you move to Dubai. So first of all, you need to know, guys, if you're planning to move to Dubai, it's a very great idea. You're not going to regret it, you know. There's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons when planning to move to Dubai, but most of them are good things, you know, like you're gonna really enjoy it. so let's go deeper to that you know so the first thing that you need to know about Dubai is when you move out when you move to Dubai you're gonna meet a lot of people you know it's nationality from all over the world there's Indian African American UK uh, Irish the European French this all nationality there's a lot of opportunity here so some people come here and they find like they come with a job already and some people come here and they start looking for job in both ways like obviously the people who come here for with a job already is much easier for them but the people who come here to find a job still it's not that complicated you know because in dubai they are recruiting pretty much every day depending on your sector or whatever you're doing okay so we speak English in Dubai. We don't speak Arabic, but obviously it's an Arabic country and there's a lot of Arabic people, but the language that everybody speaks is English. So if you don't speak English, um, you're quite fucked, you know? So you need to learn your English. For example, me, when I came to Dubai, I didn't know how to speak English at all. And I learned English here. Yeah, it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy. I'm telling you but I learned English and you can see now how my English is not that perfect but I'm trying and I keep trying you know so you need to know how to speak English and you need to know as well that the cost of living here is very very expensive my friend and recently from 1st January they removed the tax on alcohol that make that allow like the to buy lifestyle to be a bit cheaper when people go out because a lot of people was complaining that all oh, the when they go out to a bar or to a pub or to a club the drink was crazy expensive like you could have a drink for like 50 euro like just for one drink you know and uh, it was very expensive so they put that tax on alcohol they remove it so now the drink is gonna be very cheap outside when they, you know, when they go to the club or to a bar but still the living is still quite a little bit expensive for example the rent i don't know before the rent was a little bit cheaper and since the world cup the rent increased like crazy like it went crazy the house where my friend was living it was like maybe uh, 25 000, and now it's like 32 000. so the rent is very expensive so overall basically the lifestyle in dubai costs a lot the lifestyle is very expensive so when you come get prepared you know and it's quite difficult because everybody here like enjoying the lifestyle going out and if i don't know how to tell you that if you don't if you want to save money you need to kind of avoid that lifestyle you know but if you are a woman there's something you need to know you know it's a good luck because as a woman in Dubai, pretty much everything is free outside. 
you know they have something that called here uh, ladies night and every day or every night my friend is a ladies night in different different bars so if you're a lady and you like to party after work so you will love it because there's lady night every day you also need to know it's a very safe place people in dubai here they leave their door open when they go out when they go to work or when they go party doors always open uh, always open if you leave your phone somewhere in the restaurant you will find it like and like you will always it's it's a very safe place like for that you have nothing to worry about it's no crime i mean it's no crime there is but maybe like one percent one zero because one percent of crime so that can help it's very safe safe place so once you find a job you need to know about the insurance obviously your job will give you an insurance a medical insurance because the uh, the hospital here are very expensive you know so you need to have your insurance but don't worry if you find a job your job uh, it's your job will give you a medical insurance it's the law they have to give you a medical insurance right? Are you that or people probably told you that but in summer my friend it goes crazy right now it's not summer it's winter so it's cold outside it's gray it's sunny but not too hot it's amazing you know right now is the best time to be in dubai but in summer oh my friend we go up to 50 degree and trust me you don't want to be here it's mad hot it's really hot some people like it, for example, the Russian or other people where their country is Canadian, where it's always cold and they come to Dubai in the summer and they enjoy the heat. But if you're not used to that, it's hot. I'm telling you. Party life. So you need to know there's brunch every weekend. You're not going to be bored when it comes to Dubai party life. You can literally party every single day. There's always something to do. So. If you like party and you're moving to Dubai, my friend, you're gonna love it. You're gonna enjoy it. Tax, tax free. There's no tax. If you have your job and you're making your income, monthly income, you're not gonna pay any tax. All that money, my friend, is gonna go right to your bank account. You're not gonna have to pay any tax. But the difficult part or the expensive part, like I said before, is the rent. The rent, my friend, the cost in Dubai. Jeez. Here I have uh, other thing, other small thing that probably no one will warn you or will tell you about. But it's very small thing, but it make very like a big difference. For example, the petrol. Petrol is very cheap here, and you will always do a queue. If you have a car, obviously, you will always do a queue to put petrol in your car because it's very cheap. And when it comes to car. People, a lot of people rent car, like it's so easy to rent car here. You can literally um, download an application or call a rental car and you ask them, you choose the car and a couple of hours later, they deliver your car. You just show your, your Emirates ID and your driving license. And for the people who doesn't have a driving license, it's hectic. Like to me, I think it's one of the hardest uh, driving tests that I've done and it's very complicated so the best advice that i can tell that i can give you is get a driving license in your country and come to dubai here and you switch it because here it's very hard but still when you do have the driving license it's very it's international you can drive it in pretty much all the country in the world so that's something you need to know about it <clears throat> i gave you pretty much the good thing about living in Dubai but there is also some downs, downside of living in Dubai that probably people don't tell you or do tell you a lot you know so after here the top 10 stay with me religion you need to respect the Muslim religion it's very important very 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 important and there is rule about social media you can't take this uh, someone like a picture of someone a 
and post it on social media without their permission guys you can get in trouble for that so be careful internet internet is very expensive Ooh, internet in your phone internet at home it's not like in europe where everything is unlimited no here in dubai internet is very expensive and you pay a lot for that you know so put that in mind you're gonna spend a lot of money for the internet or if you drive the roads are very complicated to memorize or even if you have the gps you can still get lost and if you missed one exit my friend oh i can't tell you like you will have to like drive another 10 minutes or 20 minutes just to take the the proper exit just to come back to your normal way driving in dubai it's very hectic but it makes your life very easy so i recommend you people to drive when you come to dubai so guys that was the small update of 2023 about living in dubai if you're planning to move to dubai i think you're making a very very great decision and you can f find out about everything when you're not in dubai so once you come to dubai i recommend you to ask a lot of questions and try to find out as much as you can don't just move in and start partying or start working ask a lot of questions about your job ask a lot of questions about uh, the rent and the lifestyle and people around you you know choose wisely also the people that you hang out with you know so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this small video don't forget to like and subscribe on eric fit and see you very soon for a new video on my youtube channel bye